Good morning, YouTube fam and Lost Ones fans. This is William Cody with another edition of The Lost Ones. And we're here, we made it to Indian Hills, Colorado, to reinvestigate the case of Jacob Paddock Weeks. And this uh, segment is brought to you by Epic Outdoors Adventures out of Orlando, Florida. So now that that's out of the way, who is Jacob Paddock Weeks? He was a 27 year old male who went missing um, after a car accident. He wrecked his vehicle um, into the middle of a highway, Highway 285, on his way to Denver, it seemed like, and um, got out of his vehicle and was seen crossing uh, the highway and going down into a off of embankment into the woods. So, sorry about the wind. I'm going to apologize now. We're up here on a mountaintop. <clears throat> but, um, he was seen going into the woods and uh, never heard from or seen from again. From his family. His family, it's all over YouTube. Y'all got to look up the Jacob Paddock Weeks case in Indian Hills, Colorado. Disappearance. He's never been found. Um, this morning, we've been doing some searching, me and the dogs. And right now, I had to put the dogs up because turns out we are in a crematory cremation and uh, cemetery up here so this is a place where people go and spread um, their loved ones ashes so uh and it's really got the dogs running around in circles this morning so they're not going to be too much help right up here in this area specifically so when jacob wrecked his truck into the median and got out and headed up the woods i'm going to show you right now He was actually at this highway right down here. You can see behind me there's a highway down there. That's Highway 285, and right there is exactly where Jacob Paddock Weeks wrecked his white Dodge Ram. And then he was seen getting out of his white Dodge Ram, lighting a cigarette, pulling his hoodie up over his head, and crossing down and coming into these woods right here, these woods right down here that we, me and the dogs have came up and searched a little bit this morning. Um, but we definitely got a lot more searching to do. But right down there is Highway 285 and the embankment, mile marker 295 where he wrecked his vehicle. And we're up here on top of the mountain at Mount Lindo Cemetery. So, the road is not that hard of a road to walk up. I mean, he could have walked up it and, you know, quickly it's only a mile and a half there's a few zigzags and it's a mountain road but i mean it's wild how people think that oh he couldn't have gone that far and this and that i mean so i want to show you that's his wreck site down there okay right down there he could have walked up this mountain to the cemetery and we're going to walk over here and again apologize about wind and uh, crunching in through the snow but it's got to happen so we're, we are up here at the tip top of the mountain, and um, you guys are not going to believe this. So it could have took him, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes to get up here, walking, and then look at this, y'all. That, that's Denver. That's Denver, with a big drop, cliff. So, people have kind of discounted the fact and the searching efforts going like this way towards Denver. And, you know, I'm thinking this is a young man, you know. I, I was thinking that after the accident, he might have been concussed. And if he was using drugs and drinking, that he might not have the energy, you know, or the athletic ability because he smoked cigarettes and stuff to make it up here. Uh, you know, that was my first impression. And he had to be, he had to have perished uh, you know, before the cemetery on that mountainside over there. But now I've changed my mind. And my new theory is he's somewhere, somewhere going down to Denver on this side of the mountain. So this is Morrison over here. And you can see Denver in the distance. So, I mean, it's not out of the realm. He could have easily walked up this road. I'm going to show you this forest road here. And unfortunately... 
there's a no trespassing sign on it or i would be out there searching right now i was bummed out to see that i thought it was national forest up here but he could have walked out this road right here where the trespassing no stop no trespassing sign is and gone up and literally dropped right down into a, na a neighborhood that comes up this valley on this side so it's weird that the search teams have only searched on this side and no one's really searched over here and you know it's winter time and you can see all the snow and you're probably asking yourself why why did you come up here to search in, in in the deep snow well he went missing february 2nd and today's february 7th so this would have been the condition and the, the weather conditions that he had to deal with and believe it or not the snowpack is about the same as it was in 2019 as it is now in 2022 so i am just recreating the scene and the situation with him um so he got in the car accident right down here i'm gonna show you again we're walking over so i'm i'm at the tip top of mount window right now the very top of the mountain and again sorry about the wind i'm trying to cover it but right down there is a highway and a road that comes all the way up here you know and then we're gonna walk back over here right here is denver and civilization so I don't know about y'all, but when I'm 27 years old, I could have easily done that. I could have easily walked up and over no problem. I mean, people said he got in, he he hit the barrier doing 75, 80 miles an hour, so he could have had a concussion. So that changes stuff up. Like he, he might have laid down and take a rest, but this happened in the morning. So he had all day long to hike up all this and then make it down towards Denver. So I just feel like a 27 year old if he if he wasn't too injured in the car accident and it wasn't too bad off you know on drugs and alcohol and stuff I feel like he could have made it but I have a theory that the snow is really bad in the shady areas in the sunny areas you can walk no problem this and that and I imagine he didn't have too uh, like survival gear and boots and all this stuff um, so he's probably in you know some sort of street type outfit um, street clothes so I don't see him being able to make it out here overnight I mean he would have died the hypothermia would have, would have gotten him so but I think that he was trying to make it down to Denver and slipped and slid maybe fell down down this on this side of the mountain so that's my theory and me and the dogs we're gonna we're gonna clear this whole mountain up here this Mount window um, they said it had been searched a bunch down lower and um, a special tip came in, a law enforcement officer said he was seen coming up this way. So that's the tip we're working off of. We're gonna clear this whole mountainside and uh, use binoculars and see if we can't comb it. And uh, so stay tuned, this is part one. I'm gonna, I'll come back live later on for part two. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.